Hi guys, Bruce I'm down here at Port Arthur and I'm just doing a time lapse with the Nikon D90 and also the GoPro. And I'm going to do, do a comparison. So uh, check out the, uh, the view, it's pretty awesome. For the D90, I'm using the Sateki Interval Timer instead of a MacBook Pro, which seems to uh, do the job pretty well, as you can hear it. I can actually turn the sound off if I want to, but uh, it's already going, so I'm just going to leave it. I'm doing a four second interval, and uh, it's going for about 400 shots, so that should make for a pretty decent time lapse. The Sateki joins up to the GPS input on the Nikon D90. For the GoPro, I'm using the tripod mount and uh, it's pretty simple. It's pointing straight up at the uh, building. For the GoPro, I'm doing uh, two second intervals, so that should be interesting to see the difference. So I really hope you like my uh, comparison between the Nikon D90 and the GoPro for time-lapse photography. Um, I'll give some uh, show notes, I'll give some notes uh, underneath the video in regards to uh, some of the stuff that I've used to create these time-lapse. So I uh, hope you enjoyed. See ya. See you next time.